An exciting week for space, exploration and travel. SpaceX about to send civilians on an ambitious mission that could see the first ever commercial spacewalk. Polaris Dawn set to launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida this week after several delays. Mm -hmm. And Julie, you got the details from the man in charge. That's right, Arnold. I had a chance to chat with Commander Jared Isaacman last month, and he shared some of the challenges they face. Have a look at how those road bumps shaped Polaris Dawn's long journey to take off and the historic mission ahead. September 15th, 2021, SpaceX successfully launched Inspiration4, the first all-civilian space mission to orbit Earth. Now, the company is aiming for another pioneering venture. The Polaris Dawn will spend up to five days in orbit. It has got quite the to-do list. It will attempt to venture further than any mission ever has, since humans last walked on the moon and the Apollo program ended in the 70s. And the plan is to reach an altitude that's more than three times the distance from the Earth where the International Space Station orbits. And the crew will be led by billionaire Jared Isaacman, who is also commander of Inspiration4. He bankrolled the Polaris Dawn mission, which will conduct nearly 40 science and research experiments. But the star of this mission is its plan to conduct the first ever commercial spacewalk. And this spacesuit is critical to success. NASA describes these suits as miniature spaceships designed to protect humans from the harsh conditions of space. Think high radiation, zero air, and extreme heat and cold. This particular suit was designed by SpaceX specifically for the Polaris Dawn crew. So what's been the, the biggest challenges and complexities in getting this mission off the ground? Well, I'd say there's a there's a lot of things that have been uh, challenging. So uh, for sure, the spacesuit um, that's really hard. I mean, when you step outside the safety of your vehicle, um, there is nothing between you and you know the harsh vacuum of space other than your spacesuit, and what looks like you know just thick clothing when you wear it uh, here on Earth. When it's pressurized, it becomes as rigid as a spaceship. And it's very hard to move in it. Um, you know, mobility at the the legs, the joints, dexterity in the fingers. You know, that's a, a very challenging engineering problem. It's why we haven't had new spacesuits on the space station in, in 40 plus years. Let's take a closer look under the hood. And a 3D printed helmet features a state-of-the-art heads-up display and camera. This means that astronauts can view data, including suit pressure, temperature, and humidity from the helmet's visor. Hollywood superhero style. It's less bulky than other spacesuits, and the boots are made from materials sourced from SpaceX rockets like Falcon 9. The Polaris Dawn mission would serve as a sort of test drive for the EVA suit. Ultimately, the suit will play a major role in SpaceX founder Elon Musk's dream of a multi planetary future for humanity. Whether it's uh, like iron ore refining or a pizza joint or a bar, you know, uh, there'll be an opportunity to do all the things that we like on Earth on Mars. Well, sounds surreal? Maybe because it is. And SpaceX isn't alone in making progress in efforts to bring civilians to space. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic also have their sights set on ambitious missions to Mars, sparking hope that maybe humanity really is coming closer to the next space frontier.